Beth Lucino, and this is Carol Hyatt-Gross, and we are here at Herman Noelle's Connect, and we decided to connect with each other and talk about Carol's upcoming class. It's called Eating Disorders and Pelvic Rehabilitation, the Role of the Rehab Professional, and I just wanted to start out asking you a little bit about yourself. So I've been a physical therapist for over 31 years and graduated from Jefferson back in 1992. I worked in a lot of other areas before I did pelvic health, including pediatrics, acute care, rehab, aquatics, uh, home care, and now try to utilize all those skills that I learned along the way to service people with pelvic and abdominal wall dysfunction. Now, when did you get into pelvic floor? So back um, in 2013, I started to go back for my doctorate. And during that time, I transitioned into uh, pelvic health and it was a place that I was supposed to be. I just was the only one who didn't know that. It's funny. <laughs> so, I have a very yeah. similar background so, to you. Yeah. So, I did peds and neuro and all that fun stuff too. And then I was like, oh, this is where I This is where I This is where I belong. And all those skills all tie into that. I should have been treating our pelvic floors all along in the yeah. bellies. All right. Awesome. So can you give me like the elevator pitch for your class? So the course that I created works with trying to improve awareness on eating disorders, also to discuss the biopsychosocial implications, that is the way that it affects all of our body systems, the complexity of it, and then also the abdominal distress and also other pelvic floor, urinary issues, prolapse issues, things like that, that can develop from either as a primary or a secondary effect of someone with an eating disorder and how we're able to help those individuals, but also how we're able to identify them mm -hmm. and also how that we're able to utilize our words as healing mm -hmm. and not harmful okay. and not triggering. Okay, awesome. I was just going to ask you a question and I hope it doesn't put you on the spot, but um, do you have a rough percentage of how many people have eating disorders? Well, approximately... At 9% or close to uh, close to 30 million Americans um, may experience uh, eating disorders throughout their lifetime. Okay. All right. So I, um, I definitely am planning on taking your course next year. I can't do the upcoming one in October. But I also just wanted to ask, what was your inspiration for writing this class? Like what made you feel like this was, you know, so, you were so passionate about this topic that you had to write a class about this? Well, I have two wonderful adult daughters. Mm -hmm. Uh, who I love and respect mm -hmm. and and honor. Mm -hmm. And I missed both of their eating disorders. Uh, and I was a physical therapist. I was a pelvic and an abdominal wall therapist. Mm -hmm. And I missed the signs. And I also missed signs and symptoms of many of my patients along the way, mm -hmm. in hindsight. And back at a family days at Eating Recovery Center, the the one doctor was talking about medical complications and it was an aha moment. I'm like, there's like, we need to be involved with these patients yeah. and they need to know we're here. Mm -hmm. We need to know that they're there mm -hmm. and there has to be a connect. Yeah. So that was my inspiration. And I um, had reached out to that medical director uh, back then. And I've had conversations with, with them since as far as how to get uh, pelvic, health professionals involved with yeah. the care of people with eating disorders. So can you tell me a little bit about the format of your class? One day, is it two days, is it virtual, is it in person, is it yes. lab? Yes, so, <laughs> so um, it was one day back when um, we ran it for the first time in April. Now it is a two-day course, shorter days, so about like five hours each day. Okay. There's going to be lecture and lab components of it. And again, because it's remote and it's on Zoom, I have the gallery up so that we're able to interact and also we'll be able to not only practice but discuss in um, different treatment techniques. Um, so if someone wants to have someone there, that is going to be very helpful for the lab, for the lab portion. It's mm -hmm. not mandatory, but they'll be able to take these ideas right back to the clinic. The other thing is, is there was seven hours of pre-course content, and that includes uh, interviews from professionals um, all over the nation 
that uh, medical doctors, occupational therapists, physical therapists, mental wellness therapists um, that work within different areas of their expertise with eating disorders. And I also have a teachable, one, a part of the teachable is summarizes interviews that I did with people who are living with eating disorders and their message for the healthcare community mm -hmm. and for therapists. Awesome. All right. So I just wanted to thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for I'm having super, me. I'm super excited for your course. I'm actually like, maybe I can take it if it's only five <laughs> hours on a Saturday or Sunday. I might be able to do that because um, I really can't wait to take it until next April. Um, so the next upcoming one that we have is October 28th and 29th. And then in 2024, you're offering it on April 6th, 7th, mm -hmm. and October 19th and 20th yes. of 2023 as well. Oh, 2024. 2024. Oh, yeah. Goodness, so, words. We yes. have not been getting lots of sleep at, <laughs> at H and W Connect. We're, we're We've been partying. We're having fun. <laughs> we're on East Coast time and we're on the West Coast. Just yes. bear with us. But yeah, come and join Carol for her awesome class. It's really going to be great. The reviews have been wonderful. I get to read your glowing reviews. Everyone says it's like life changing. So really come and join that class. It will be so fun. I look forward to seeing you there. Hi, everybody. Bye.